Hi, Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. I want to show you something that will really help you when you're designing your websites for keeping things nice and straight. And those are the Arrange and Align tools. I'll show you what I mean up here. In the uh, ribbon menu, you have a menu that's called Arrange and a bunch of options. Of course, these are all grayed out right now because they don't work unless you have something to arrange or align. And uh, to do that, we need to select something. In fact, we can't just select one thing. We have to select more than one thing because a range and a line have to do with objects being relative to each other. So sometimes when you're placing objects on your canvas, what's great about 90 Second Website Builder is you can just drag and drop anywhere you want. The problem with that is sometimes you're not such a good aim and things get crooked. And so we have these tools that help us keep things nice and straight. So I'll make these crooked here on purpose so we can see how this works. So if I wanted these icons to line up nice and straight, I would have to select them and then choose uh, my option here. I want them to align, let's say, uh, their tops. Let's make all their tops align. And I click that, and look, all the tops align. These all happen to be the same size, so it wouldn't matter which one I chose, they're all going to line up. Now, you may be wondering which top they chose to align to, because they were all in four different positions. So how did the software know which one to go to? Well, I had this one, let's see, let's undo it here. I had this one like this, and this one like this, and something like this. What happens is, the very last object that you select is the object that the rest of them are going to align to. So if I wanted everything to be the same height or the same position as, say, this blue icon, I would select that one last. I would select this one, and then I would select this one. By the way, I'm holding down the Shift key to multiple select. And then the last item I select, the blue one, that will set the standard. Everything else will align to this one. This time, let's align the bottoms. We'll go like this, and you see that they all lined up to the bottom to match the blue one, because that was the one that was the last selection. That's pretty simple. We can also do it with vertical alignment. So if we want to go like this and like this and like this and make things line up vertically, let's make them crooked first. Let's, let's use these two, what the heck. So we've got all these and we want them to line up. Let's say we want them to line up with the yellow one here. So we'll select that one last. And let's line them up with the uh, left side. Clicking left, and they all line up according to the left side of the yellow one. There's something else we can do, though, that's really kind of cool. And you'll notice that even though we aligned these so that they're in a nice straight order, they're not spaced evenly. That's okay. We can do that, too. And that's something called distribution. We can distribute these so that they're even. And since these are in a vertical alignment, we would want to distribute vertically. That's what this does. If you hover over it, it will tell you that. So watch what happens now. I click this button, and now they're all evenly distributed. Kind of a cool trick, a really fast way to get things lined up. Let me show you some other things with some images that aren't quite as symmetrical, because these icons are all the same size. Let me go get some logos of mine, bring them to the top of the page so we can see them in the camera a little better. I've got uh, four images here that are not actually the same size. They're all a little bit different. This one's a little bit smaller than this one, etc. And so you'll see how the alignment works a little bit differently. If I were to select this and this, and I say, well, I want them to align by the bottoms, and remember, black wire was the second one I chose, so it's going to line to that. You'll see that cloud wire lines up on the bottom of black wire. If I say middle, now middle is a horizontal alignment, then the middles will line up. And of course, if I said top. If we were doing vertical alignment, let's use cloud wire and say .com classroom. So I want .com classroom to line up to match cloud wire. If I want it to match the middles, this is called center. Center is the vertical version of middle. So if I go like this, their centers line up. And notice .com classroom is the one that moved because it's aligning to Cloudwire. And of course, we can also use the right side, left side, whatever we want to do. That makes it really nice to make things nice and straight in your workflow. Something else you can do is change the size of an object to match another one. So these two are pretty much the same size down here. So let's work with these again. This, since this one's so much smaller, if I wanted to match the width or the height of something, watch what happens. I'm gonna click Cloudwire, then Blackwire. That means Blackwire is the standard. So I want Cloudwire to be the same height as Blackwire. 
So I click this button and it's stretched. Now they're the exact same height in pixels. It doesn't look good, but that's not the point. The point is it will make it the same height. Now I want them to line up. And so if I click the middle button, there we go. That way I can make them uh, the same height and uh, line them up nice and pretty. So that pretty much covers arranging and aligning things. Let's also talk about rotate because you can rotate images if you want to. You'll notice, and I'll do this with, a, let's use .com Classroom up here. If we take this image and we wanted to rotate it, we can click this button right here. And what happens is the little handlebars, the little selection bars, change from the typical black boxes to green circles, which means I can grab any one of these corners and I can rotate this object like this. Here we go. It gives me sort of a preview before I let go of my mouse. There, I let go. And now I'm able to rotate that object, which is really kind of a nice effect that you can use on your web page if you want something to be slightly askew. You can also do it this way. I'm gonna, by the way, change this back to its original size. We could also do it this way. Instead of rotating it freehand like I did, I can say I want it to rotate exactly 90 degrees. And we'll do that. And then flip it back. If I go flip horizontal, flip vertical, we have all of these options available as part of the arrangement and alignment tools in 90 Second Website Builder. One other thing I want to talk to you about, and that is something that's called Z order. Z order is the order in which objects sit in relationship to each other um, on the web page meaning being on top of or in front of or behind other objects. That's what these tools over here are. So you can move things in front of or behind other objects in 90 Second Website Builder, and that can be very handy. It's kind of hard to see with these objects, so let's go get our little icons again. We'll take this one, and we'll take this one, which is behind, the yellow one's behind the red one, that's its Z order, and the blue one is behind the yellow one, and then the green one, uh, in that order. Z order meaning sort of their stacking order. But I can change that Z order anytime I want to. If I wanted the blue one to be in the front, I could go up here and move it to the front. I could say, no, I want you to have the, the Z order of the first position. Or I can just move something up one level. If I clicked the yellow one and I just want it to move forward one level, instead of moving it to the front, I would move it forward and it would just be in front of the red one, but not the blue one. I'd have to move it to the front to get it to the blue one. So that's what Z order is, and that's what these tools are for. Also really convenient when you're lining up objects and when they're coming up next to each other nice and close. And by the way, when you're working with objects like this and you get them just where you want them. So for example, let's say I wanted to get these all nice and lined up. And let's, let's put them in a nice order here. Let's say we want everything to line up with this blue one. So we'll go like this. Let's get the red one to line up with the blue one um, by top. And then let's get the uh, yellow one to line up with the blue one by uh, center. Or rather, let's get the green one to line up with the red one by center. And I have kind of a nice little cluster of icons here. Well, one of the things I can do as I'm working around my website, especially if I'm going to be doing some intricate things with a lot of other objects, once I get these where I want them and I don't want to accidentally bump them, because sometimes you'll you know, multiple select things like this, I don't want to bump these. So what I can do is I can lock them down. I can select this object right here and go up to the lock and lock it down. What happens is that prevents me from accidentally moving this object, right? I just tried to drag it and it won't let me because I get this little lock icon. And the reason for locking something is only for your workflow. It doesn't have anything to do with the end result on the web page. It just helps you to not bump things around. I can't do it. So I'm trying to move all this stuff and I can't do it. That's just a, a little helper tool while you're designing. Another way to uh, work with these tools is to simply right click on them. If you right click on an object, you can get to this context menu. I can unlock this object now. If you wanted to change the Z order of something, you could also do that by uh, right clicking on it like this. Let's see, let's unlock this. I, I could right click on this and move it to the front, move it to the back, whatever I wanted to do. So often when you right click on an object, it's just another fast way to get to something. For example, rotate. So that kind of gives you an idea of some of the things you can do with the arrange, align, rotate, and even locking things down. Let me show you a practical use for this. On my order page, I made some text objects here. 
I wanted this title, I wanted an image of my product, and then I have all of these are separate text objects. And so what I did, once I put these in here, is I wanted them not only to line up nicely like this, and let me select them all again. Notice the last one I selected was the top one. If I say I want these to line up to the left, I'll click the left, and there, just nudged one over a little bit. It was nice to be able to make those line up. Also, I arranged them vertically. So when I click this button, they're all evenly spaced, and that looks nice. And then I aligned these objects according to how I want them to look as well. I wanted them to be able to fit nicely over this box, and so I was able to do that by using the Align and Arrange tools in 90 Second Website Builder.